Good morning. I wanted to give you a quick tour of my autonomous rover system, which I'm calling Leica, after the first dog in space. The heart of the system are these two Arduino Mega 2560 systems. This one controls the hazard avoidance and the science data. This one controls the drivetrain, the GPS, and the data logging system. So this one collects science data off of the science platform, sends it over these wires to serial 3 on this machine, and it then turns around, parses the data, stores it in memory, and writes it out to the SD card. So attached to this system first is a, a an Adafruit Ultimate GPS system or breakout card uh, and a micro SD data logger. Also attached to the system, uh, temporarily wired in through the breadboard, is an Adafruit Fona 800L uh, GSM modem with its own LiPo battery. Uh, this is designed to send data back to my laptop computer from wherever the rover happens to be using uh, data over the cellular network. This is the science platform which is attached to Arduino A and uh, the science platform consists of this which is a 10 DOF uh, inertial measurement unit a TSL 2560 LUX sensor, an SI1145 UV and uh, visible light and IR light sensor, uh, an HTU21DF humidity and temperature sensor, uh, a, a real-time clock, and an 16-channel um, PWM servo controller. Hooked up to the servo controller are these two pan tilt systems that will have the hazard avoidance systems attached to them. Also connected to the our Arduino A is this which is the uh, Pixie CMU Cam 5 artificially intelligent vision system and this, which is a pulsed light LiDAR version 2 uh, hazard avoidance system. So that rangefinder has a range of 40 meters, as opposed to like a sharp infrared sensor, which has a range of maybe a meter. Finally, the entire thing is going to be powered off of solar panels. Uh, this is one example of the solar panel. Here's the panel. This is an Adafruit DC solar charger system, which is attached to a uh, 6600 milliamp hour LiPo battery. It's ordinarily also attached to this, which is the PowerBoost 1000C, but the JST connectors tend to work themselves free and break off pretty easily. So <clears throat> I need to figure out a better way of wiring the power boost to the DC charger. And that is it. That is Leica, the rover system. Uh, obviously it doesn't have a chassis yet, and I haven't figured out all of the power problems, but um, this is where I stand right now. Uh, she has over 2,000 lines of code between the Arduino sketches and the custom C++ library that I wrote to <clears throat> handle the science data that's transmitted between the two systems. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions or suggestions or want to help with the project. Thanks a lot.